rice dal um, dalma actually in dal i have added some fenugreek leaves and tomato and potato cucumber tomato and eggplants brinjal chutney and um, lemon and some masculine salad rice and ghee cucumber Dalma is my state food, like I'm from Odisha, eastern part of India. And we have dalma, which is a very common, regular food. So we have mixed lentils or one type of lentil. We add all the vegetables, any vegetable can go. I have cooked with some ginger and chilies and coriander leaves, some cumin seeds and mustard oil ghee, mustard seeds as well. You can add tomato, sorry, um, onion and ginger, onion and garlic because I am not eating onion and garlic, I am just adding ginger. Tomato and eggplants are oven baked. Normally, in Odisha, we cook with fire, firewood. So, we kind of put everything into firewood and make it bake in the fire, direct in the fire. In the heat of the burnt wood charcoal yeah charred it's 
hard. Cucumber health and meat chili. It instantly soothes your tongue. Um, I ate with my hands we, when I was growing up, like it's a common practice sitting on the floor and eating and not watching TV or anything or not talking. It's food and you, connection, when you eat, more connection, you feel, you sense and you It's quite a technique how to eat with hands. Like you can mix everything and then push it with this or doesn't matter. For example, when I'm watching and feeling and not watching TV or not watching phone and I have added chilies, I know how what to eliminate. Lemon. My nana says yogurt and lemon, they're like nectar in the world on, on, on the planet earth masculine salad That is chilies. I'm going to add the whole dal to my rice. This is how we eat dal and rice together. In India, everything about flavor. Just um, yeah, and I didn't eat any flavor for five weeks. So everything tastes so good and so hot and very different. I had straight green chilies to my chutney. I add for the taste a little bit. You just can't eat chilies. My mom, she just takes the whole chili and chews like without chili they can't eat. Life in village is life in village is different. If you do not have chili or anything, you quickly run to the neighbor. <laughs> but here, 
when I came first to New, to New Zealand, I was cooking in the fire alarm went on. I had no idea what is and how to deal with it. I ran to five houses but didn't get any help because nobody opened the door. <laughs> Maybe there was no one and I didn't know what to do. It kept on going and then after a long time it stopped. And I didn't even know that you have to just take a towel or open the door. It was not fire alarm, the smoke alarm, right? <laughs> I all the way through this mistake. I think some little one innocent chili and it's frozen. How hot it can be! It is really, really hot. That means I'm full <laughs> and I'm pushing this extra. <laughs> so food should be 50% food, 25% water and 25% should be space for the air movement and digestion process. So, yogic food, or we always cook fresh and eat fresh and eat warm food. taste of warm food fresh food is very different and it has different impact on the body jesa an vesa man that means what we eat our mind becomes like that <coughs> for example before dying, the animal, imagine if someone wants to kill me, the fear I live, my whole body turns into toxic. After the meat is, you know, the animal is dead, a lot of bacteria starts growing. That's how the decaying process starts. It absolutely becomes um, full of toxin. So, in a way we say we want to detox by putting a lot of toxins every day like caffeine or meat so lentils my protein Rice, carbs. I grow up eating rice every day. Do you see this is liquid but I can scoop it. Skill, huh? <laughs> can you do this with fork? Even people in South India, they eat something called rasam. Which is very runny, watery. They do a better job. 
can put his yum. <laughs> we keep on licking. As a kid, I used to put my tongue. If you are still found doing that, you'll be beaten up because that's not auspicious. Today is uh, Guru Varusa, which is Goddess Lakshmi. My name is Padmavati. So, another name of Goddess Lakshmi is Padmavati. Padma is Lotus, the one who sits in Lotus Flower is Padmavati. So, the whole month, every Thursday, we have a little ritual. And the big ritual is today. Very, very important for our state. And I miss things. <laughs> I was born on a Thursday, so I was considered to be very lucky if you were born on a Thursday. And it's ironic that your name is Padnavati and you are poor. <laughs> and hmm. a lot of people in my village, they we have this superstitious building. It's the energy though. My neighbors, they always go, if they have to do some good work, you know, they want their work to be successful. They, if they see my mother's face, some good people. So they believe that the, this work is going to be successful. So one day, one of my neighbors, I call him Bade Papa means he's older than my father, so we call him older father. And oh, he was younger father, Sanna Papa means Chote Papa. And he saw my face and went and it, he was successful. Then he started believing. She is very lucky. If you go out seeing her face, it's going to be successful. <laughs> so, yeah, what we believe that we are. Power of mind. So, stay healthy. Think positive. Love you all. Thank you for joining. If you enjoy what I do and you want to it healthy, it sattvic, it more vegetable. Please do subscribe. Thank you so much. Love you all.